All right. Here we are. I promised you guys this video. Here she comes. Uh, oh, it's, it's going to be back in the uniform. I love it. All right. Now, it's exciting. The pitchers and catchers report down to Dunedin and start their workouts in four days. The, if you don't know, the first spring training game for the Blue Jays is February 25th. <sighs> it's exciting. It is so, so exciting. Because, come on, we all want our baseball back. We all want our Blue Jays baseball back. We want to be back up the Rogers Center summertime, baby. And uh, that's what we want. We're one step closer. We're one step closer to that. Now, we have a bunch of things I want to talk about. All right? Where are we going to start? Let's start, you know, let's start with... Um, a bunch of the minor deals that the Jays have done since we last talked. All right. One was claiming Juan Gratterall off waivers from the Angels. He is a catcher. It's just catcher depth. He'll probably be down in Buffalo. That's okay. Not bad. Uh, Gregorio Petit was signed to a minor league deal with an invite to spring training. He's also a shortstop. So again, depth in the infield, probably being triple A. You know, Lucas Harrell as well with the same kind of deal. He is a right-handed pitcher. Focus on me now. Thank you. Uh, also, Jonathan Diaz. If you guys remember Jonathan Diaz, he, while well, he was with the Blue Jays, he was kind of that up-and-down kind of infielder uh, with the Jays. And he, he he did play with the Yankees was it last year, something like that. And uh, he's back on a minor league deal. So that's uh, it's good to see him. Uh, return as a Blue Jay. Now, before we start getting into the heavy-duty stuff, all right, and the actual big club things, I understand we did not like this pitcher. He was not smart. But Jordano Ventura. Wow. Because we haven't, we didn't talk, we haven't talked about this yet, so I just got to say my little piece about it. You know, he was one of the... Uh, it's same like Jose Fernandez. Not to the all-star stardom that he was, but he, he was still a young, dominant pitcher. And he's gone. We have lost a lot of young players over the past little while, and it's not fun. It's not fun. But we gotta... You gotta move on. I mean, as much as it sucks... You have to move on because there's baseball to play, right? So, let's start talking about this team and a few little details about them. First off, Jose Bautista said a little while ago that he'd be willing to play multiple positions. Now, that will include right field, obviously DH, and some first base. Now... The one thing I'm nervous about Jose, he was a great fielder way back. Outfielder. He was a great right fielder, great arm, great glove, good job. But over the years, we've seen that his arm is not the same as it used to be. His glove is okay, but his arm, like I said, isn't what it used to be. And he had turf toe last year, and he's had some injuries. You know, will it affect his, his mobility in the outfield? Maybe. So, first base might not be a bad option if, you know, somehow Morales and Steve Pierce and, God help us, Justin Smoke uh, can't do it, right, for a certain day. Or, God help us, people are injured. Then, yeah, okay, Jose can play a couple games there. But I don't want him to be, like, the every other day first baseman. I don't want that. Right, and I don't think anybody would want that. It would just be an odd thing here and there, and I'm okay with that. You know, I'm okay with Jose being the like the fourth uh, fourth first baseman, if you want to call it that. All right. Now, moving on, Dalton Pompey. Now, there's been a there's been well over the years, there's been a big thing about him. Right, there was the big hype. Then he started the year last year, or was it last year at the Jays? I don't think it was, well, you know, no, it was not last year because he played the full season in AAA Buffalo. It was the year before where he started with the Jays, slumped, 
that went to Buffalo, didn't do well, and it was just a rough year for him. He wasn't ready. He was not ready to come to the bigs. He played a full year in Buffalo last year. In my eyes, I think that he has an opportunity, depending on how he does in spring training and how everything goes, to possibly make the big club out of spring training. But he has to work hard. He's got to prove that he's ready. It's not going to be easy, but because you got to beat out what Zeke and, and, and Melvin for the starting role. If not, be on the bench. That's fine. As a third outfielder, that's okay because you got the speed. It's good to have on the bench. All right? Now, with that being said, those small things being said, there were also some signings over the past little while. And I know you guys have been waiting to see these these videos because you want to you know what the, what the deets are, what the details are. Now, let's start. We said how we needed that backup catcher. We needed the lefty out of the bullpen. We just needed some extra bullpen help. All right? Well, the Jays, well, they delivered. You know? And Jared Saltalamakia was signed to a minor league deal. Now, hang on. But if he makes the club out of spring training, he will make $1.25 million. I can't see why he would not uh, make the team. I'm pretty sure, in my eyes, that he will be the backup to Russell Martin to start the season. I can see that. Um, and I think that's okay. I think that's an all right move. He's a good defender. His bat is, yeah, it's better than Josh Tolley. That's what I'm trying to compare it to because that was our guy last year. And I, in my eyes, and I think everybody's eyes, he's better than Josh Tolley. So that's what we'll take. We will enjoy that. We will take that. And then we'll move on, right? The backup catcher role is not the big, big. But if Russell Martin goes down, now you actually have somebody you know can play baseball, as bad as that sounds for Tolley, right? So, it's good to see. It's good to see them have a guy that they can rely on a little bit. And it's going to be interesting to see how he does in spring training. If he comes out firing, it's going to be exciting, right? So, um, also, we said they needed a left-handed pitcher. With losing Brett Cecil, you had, what, Aaron Loop, Matt Dermody, and you're like, you can't go into this season with those two. I am sorry, because they also designated... Uh, Chad Gerardo, so he's gone, right? He won't even be at spring training. So you got to really sign somebody, and they did. J.P. Howell, former Tampa Bay Ray, and he was with the Dodgers for the last few years. He assigned him to a one-year, $3 million contract. There is no hurt in that deal whatsoever. One year, no problem. Three mil, no problem. And also, he has the opportunity to be a very good pitcher for this team. You know, he before last season, his numbers were unbelievable. He had fantastic years. Last year, he had a hiccup. But you know what? Relievers aren't perfect, right? A great example, Mark Lowe. You know, the, the Jays picked him up at the deadline last year. That was in that big scurry. Or no, two years ago. Five, two years ago now, eh? Wow. Well, not two years, but it's we're going into the second season. You know, we've we've done a whole year since though. That's crazy. But that year when the Jays got price and all that, they picked up Mark Lowe as well. His ERA was just over one at the time. He was a dominant reliever for the Mariners. And the Jays picked him up. He did okay. Then Detroit gave him a deal. And he was awful last year. So relievers, you don't really know, because Mark Lowe wasn't really really good before that year right he just had that one really good year and then he was garbage last year so you never know with relievers but jp howell with the with the rough year he had last year could possibly turn it around as a blue jay you never really know but i like the signing he's a guy that can take the ball and he has the flexibility to pitch you know, a lot of innings over the course of the season. I think he pitched like 60-something games last year. So that, that's a lot of games. So he's ready to go. He's ready to do this. That's what I like to see. Now, with J.P. Howell signed, so the left-hander's signed, and the catcher is signed. Great. Those are two big issues that this team needed to fill. It maybe they didn't get the top-notch backup catcher, the top-notch left-hander, but they got the pieces they need. Also, 
We needed, you know, we said we needed a little bit. We needed that right hander. That would that would have been nice. You needed that guy. And the Jays went out and signed Joe Smith, side or submarine, uh, right hander, one year, three million dollars. Same deal as J.P. Howell. Now don't look at uh, Joe Smith and. You know, look at him. Oh, he's a side armor. Oh no, Aaron Loop. Oh no, this is gonna be a mess. No, don't, don't look at that. Joe Smith is a very good pitcher. He is a very, you know, dominant pitcher. I think he can be a very good piece for this team. You know, and the the bullpen is now filling out pretty well, if you ask me. Now, with that move, with with signing Joe Smith, the greatest name in the history of sports. They had to designate somebody. And that guy was A.J. Menace. Now, we were talking earlier before they signed Salt to the Maki in the previous video. We said how, you know, okay, they haven't gotten a backup catcher yet. A.J. Menace was that highly guided prospect. You know, he was right there. and uh, But then he had injuries. Will the Jays give him a shot out of spring training to possibly take that backup role? I thought that was a big possibility. But with the signing of Salt Lamakia and the designating of AJ Jimenez, it does not look like that is going to happen. But you know what? I, th what I think what he needs is a full year in Buffalo. No injuries. Injuries kill your season. We've seen that. So if he can find a way to be healthy all year and be productive, maybe next year that's his year. We don't know. Now, Let's quickly talk about the possible lineup. We know the rotation. You can now put pieces in for the bullpen. But the batting lineup is always something that people say, no, I like him there, I like him there. Now, I'm going to do my version. Let me know in the comments what you guys, your lineup. Like, Give me your 1-9 in, in the Jays in the Jays order. 1, Devin Travis. 2, Donaldson. 3, Kendrys Morales. 4, Bautista, five Tulowitzki, six Martin, seven Pierce, eight, eight, nine. I kind of flip flop with Pilar, Zeke, you know, Pompey, and Upton. I kind of flip them all because it's like it's such a tough, tough spot, right? And why did I put Morales third? That's maybe something you guys are asking. Well, the Jays in the past have been known to be a right-handed, dominant team. Now they, more or less, they still are. But putting Kendrys Morales right in the middle of your big guys, your, your, I mean, you could say Travis is a big guy, even though he's not really a home run hitter, but Donaldson, right? Then it goes Morales, your switch hitter. Screws, if, you're, if they're trying to play matchups, it's not really going to work. Then Bautista, right-hander, and Tulowitzki. So you're surrounding them with that switch hitter. That's my opinion, right? So before we wrap this up, I got a question to you guys. Now, I asked in the last video if you guys wanted spring training videos. You guys said, yeah, sure. You guys would like. It. Now, as I said in the last one, I think as well, you can't always get them on TV. I don't know if there is a way or a streaming way, or whatever, to 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 get these games. But if there is, I sound really desperate here. But if you guys want to send me the link of the where you guys watch the videos, and if it's free, that'd be you know fantastic. I don't want to have to make an account and then put my credit card in, or or whatever, right? I don't want to have to do that kind of stuff. So. uh Oh, excuse me, boys. Excuse me. Just dying here. Woke up sniffly. And we're still sniffly. That's okay. I'll try and battle through it right to the end. All right? So, yeah, let me not, let me get, let me know in the comments, guys, You know, a, a way to watch these games. Because I really, really want to watch them. I know they have little bits on TV. But if I can watch most games of spring training, that's what I'd love. And if you got, I don't know how you guys want me to do it. I don't know because even if I can't watch the games, if you guys still want me to talk about things by looking at the stats and everything, every single game, by all means, I'll do it. I love posting this stuff for you guys. I love posting videos for you guys. If I have to post three videos a day, fine, I'll do it. It's great. Or if you guys want me to kind of 
every week kind of go back and talk about all the games it might be a longer video like this but if you guys want that let me know let me know what you guys want what, what do you guys want every game if I can watch it if I, I'm, I apologize if I can't and I'm just reading really the stats and kind of breaking things down like that I want you guys come clutch you know I, I, that's up to you guys that's up to you guys because you know it's a pain I know I know sometimes streaming MLB TV is okay but a lot of the time it just doesn't work and there's no there's no way to watch it. So if you guys have some magical way, let me know. And I'll, so yeah, okay. All right. So you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this Jay's video. All right? This is going to be the last video before, before spring training starts. Oh, it's exciting. It's exciting. All right? So hey, hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already. I really do appreciate all that. Comment down below a ton. Give me your lineups. If you have a special link to watch these games, if you don't, if you don't mind throwing that in there for me, I do appreciate that. Oh my goodness! I apologize again. We're, we're almost done. We're almost done. I'm I'm powering through. Um, also, you know, single game every single game for the Jays, or kind of like a week breakdown. Let me know what you guys think, and we'll talk to you guys, what, tomorrow, Leafs edition. So you take on the Buffalo Sabres. That's going to that's gonna be a good one. That's going to be a good one. Also, Sunday night, Raptors edition, Raptors and Pistons. And also, that's right, also, February 25th, I mean, we'll probably do it for the first game anyways. February 25th, Blue Jays, Braves. Ooh, that sound good. We'll see you guys then.